Yeah. Gospel according to John, chapter 19, from verse 38. After this, Joseph of Arimathea approached Pilate, for he was a disciple of Jesus, though secretly for fear of the Jews. And he asked Pilate to let him remove the body of Jesus. Pilate agreed, so he came and took away the body. Nicodemus, the man who earlier had come to Jesus by night, also came and brought a jar of myrrh mixed with aloes about a hundred pounds. They took the body of Jesus and wrapped it in linen cloths with the spices following the burial custom of the Jews. There was a garden in the place where Jesus had been crucified. 
and in the garden, a new tomb in which no one had ever been laid. As the tomb was very near, they buried Jesus there because they had no time left before the Jewish preparation made. The word of the Lord. I'll now bless the tomb where the body of Mark will be buried and we pray for protection from all evil and we also pray that the body will be preserved from corruption and above all that his soul would be preserved from destruction. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Father, and powerful God, we bless this tomb. We ask you, as the body of Mark is laid here, that you preserve it from all evil. May the angels come to welcome him. May the martyrs come to greet him on the way. And with Lazarus, who was once poor, may he now have eternal rest. Saint Michael, we ask you to come with your cohort of angels to guard this tomb to protect it from all evil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To expire Jesus, for the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up to the whole world. O fount of life, and the Father of the divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. Together we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Together, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among men, and the blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us and us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Together, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified and was He descended into hell, the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From then he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of faith, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life of the body. The body is being put into your hands. For the sake of the Lord, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. 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 We commend our hearts. For we must die. Two souls in loving you. Into your O God, the Creator and Redeemer of all the faithful, grant to us all of your servant departed Mark Martian the remission of all his sins, that through pious supplications he may obtain that pardon which he has always desired, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto his soul, O Lord. May he rest in peace. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto his soul, O Lord. May he rest in peace. Eternal rest grant unto his soul, O Lord. May he rest in peace. May his soul and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. We continue the chapter of divine mercy. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 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 
For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and sins of the whole world. The second decade, we pray for comfort and consolation for all the members of the family. Everybody, for the sake. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For a woman, a child within the womb. Yet even if these forget, yes, even if these forget, I will never forget my doom. I will never forget you, my people. I am God you. Upon the palm of my hand, I will never forget you. I will not leave. 